it won't have an effect from today to tomorrow. It won't have an immediate effect on the Ukrainian war. But this waterway and the Russian logistics operation here is vital for Russia's Syria campaign and carrying goods to Syria. So I think from day one, that operation must be already feeling the pressure that they missing the capacity coming from here. And in the long run, the lack of ability of bringing new ships and the ships existing in the Black Sea running into maintenance problems is going to create them um, logistical issues. I'm from here, I'm born here, and all these maritime events happens in the middle of Istanbul. The Bosphorus is such a unique geography. Commercial and military activities happens right here, and I'm interested as someone from this city, and at the same time, it's with the general uh, decline of uh, access to news and stuff in Turkey, it's like one way of absolutely getting the correct information is to dig the information myself. So right now, because of the operation in Ukraine, uh, we see uh, all the Black Sea Fleet ships stayed back in, uh, in the Black Sea. Then they brought extra ships from their other fleets, from the Baltic Fleet, from Northern Fleet. They brought reinforcements uh, for the Ukraine operation. They were all saying they're organizing naval exercise and they passed by pretty much lying to the world. So right now there are only five ships in the Mediterranean belong to the Black Sea Fleet that we know from before. Three of them are important vessels and they might try to send those ships to Black Sea which they will be in their legal right to uh, pass because they, because they belong to the Black Sea Fleet and they will claim they are returning to their home bases. Uh, but they might assign other ships to their Black Sea Fleet ship. It will take just a statement, an order, such and such ship is now under the command of the Black Sea Fleet. They will use civilian ships and civilian contractors uh, to possibly supply their Syrian operation. Like we saw like a couple days ago, uh, two smaller uh, uh, oil tankers carrying aviation jet fuel to Syrian Arab army. So it basically works like a naval auxiliary, but it's a civilian merchant vessel. But the big pieces like armed personnel carriers, um, ammunition, uh, tanks, those things are carried with the um, Russian landing ships, Russian Navy's landing ships. So those ships are not going to be able to pass as long as Bosphorus remains closed. And that will cause eventually problems in the troop rotation, etc. They will attempt to find um, a creative way, but against this, now given it's 21st century, there is the entire open source community and we'll try to <laughs> find what they are trying to do. The several ships in recent, um, like in the last one week, they were damaged and an Estonian ship fully sunk. So uh, Russians made the international maritime operation extremely dangerous and that's why at the end, as we see, we look at the tracking apps today, there are no ships left. They are trying to destroy the trade. They are trying to economically destabilize Ukraine. It's very dangerous. I mean, it's involving with the civilian ships. It's totally irresponsible. I mean, this shows how recklessly this operation or this war is so far is conducted by Russia with no regard, neither for civilians, be it civilians on the ground or, uh, or civilian merchant vessels.